Just leaving for a few days on business. Daddy's jumping bail. Jumping bail. Hey, if you come back, bring smokes. Kevin hoped his dad would come back someday because he didn't like the thought of being from a single parent family or out of smokes. What do you figure goes on in his head when he drifts off like that? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Could just be that he's stupid. Yeah, could be. Well, thanks for everything, Thea. Hey, are you coming back or not? What for? Me and the boy. Maybe I'm figuring I'm finding someone better than you and having a normal one. You're lucky you got to marry me. And that only happened on account of me being 15 and impressionable and knocked up. Up here at Fatty, I could do way better than you. Without me, the only thing you'll be doing is your hand. Leave my hand don't... Stay out of Daddy's paint, boy. Leave my hand don't keep banging my friends. I got needs. You're gonna have more than that in a minute. Bring it on, cocksucker! <sighs> I'm telling you, he left yesterday, and I don't know where the bum went. Yeah, sure, lady. Come out of that closet, Percy. Fine. We'll do it your way. Open fire. Nothing suspicious in here. Whoa. Hey, hang on. Who's the pooch? Oh, ain't he cute? His name was Ollie. Kevin killed him when he was 10, but he didn't get in no trouble because the doctor said he had mental problems. Come on, partner, let's get out of this piss hole before we catch something. He wasn't here, Plunt. We want our money back. Uh, I already spent it on tattoos. Uh, if I find him, uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, you do that. Ah! Rest your beer on it between sips. It'll help the swelling go down. So, uh, what brings you around, Charlie? Anastasia, you know how I feel about you. I want to take you on a vacation to Niagara Falls. Look at him go, Charlie! <laughs> get them demons, boy! Get them! Hey, watch this! In the backyard, boy! Go get them! Go get them! Enough money to take me nowhere. Man, my student loan came true. You got into school? I sure am. I'm taking broadcasting at a career college. I'm gonna learn how to be one of them uh, fancy strip club DJs. Uh, that's right, boys. Let's have another round of applause for Porsche. And remember, Porsche is trying to get her citizenship, so don't skimp on the lap dances. Sounds good, baby. We'll leave tomorrow, as soon as I cash my mother's allowance check. Ain't you finished packing yet? All set, baby. Come on, Kevin. Let's go. Ah, you're bringing him. Niagara Falls is a place for romance, not babysitting. Maybe you ain't never heard of a designated driver? Always thinking. Uh, here you go, boy. Uh, me and your mom will be in the back uh, making love. Pay attention, boy. Charlie's got manners. He opens the door for me, and he don't calls it fucking. <laughs>
you gotta watch out at these highway rest stops, boy. <laughs> They're big cruising hangouts for them gay sexuals, eh? Yeah, Kevin, you could end up being someone's love doll, like your old man was for that Filipino gang in prison. We'll be inside getting some beers. Washrooms are that way. Hey, Charlie, you see that look on his face? The classics never die. Every time I try to make a pass, I choke. Like, sometimes I feel like the only thing I know how to do is suck. Don't be so hard on yourself. Not a lot of guys can make a pass like you. Did you see the way I went down on that big guy? <laughs> you won't be walking straight for a week. I hardly saw anything. I kept getting balls in my face. Whoa, like, what's that guy's problem? Dunno. Lots of weirdos in these highway stops. My dad says it's a big gay hangout at night. No, like you're thinking of the bus terminal, or like, so I've heard, like, from around. <laughs> Never mind. Now, y'all may not know this about me, but I was born right near that very mountain. Whoever my real mother was left me at the base of the mountain as a ceremonial offering to her god. I was found by a drunken old mountain man who took me to his cabin and raised me as his son. Then one day, the wood alcohol that made him think he was Jesus and blind as Ray Charles finally killed him. His liquor so close caused his bloated corpse to explode into a tempest of flame. But it's the good times I'll remember mostly. <laughs> a few days later, I was discovered wandering the woods by some nice people who fled society to start their own ideal of uh, peace and contentment in the forest. I lived with them until I got busted for smuggling a few measly M16 assault rifles. But turns out, I was the lucky one though, cause the feds hunted down the rest of my family and shot them up. <laughs> shot them up good. Ever since then, I've been pretty much just scamming welfare and passing bad checks, you know. But now, let me tell you about the time I killed a zoo elephant with my bare hands and a pump-action shotgun. Charlie's story was hurting Kevin's head because it was diametrically opposed to his attention span. Kevin wanted it all to stop, so he figured he'd swerve into the next oncoming transport truck. Kevin figured that would straighten things out and make the voices go away. Jeez, I can't believe we made it this far with no DUIs. Lady Luck has blessed our union. You know, I do believe I feel a song coming on. Gonna put it to my sweet love. La da 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 dee 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 dee. Better than that fat prick Percy does. Ha 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 ha. Be a good boy, Kevin. And if you get lost, try and find your way back to the hotel with smokes. <laughs> Jesus H, ain't you had enough for one day? <laughs> I, I forgot you undone my pants. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are you looking at? Don't you get it? I whacked him off and he forgot to do up his pants. That's funny. Ah, uh, forget it. You can all go fuck yourselves. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Hey, sweetie, how'd you like a picture of us going over the falls in the barrel? I'd love one, Casanova. Great. Give me 20 bucks so I can pay the guy. Come on. Come on. He's waiting. Anastasia, I've been waiting to ask you something, and I think that now's the time. 
Charlie, why can't you say this to my face? It's easier this way, Annie. Why don't you just leave Percy and set up with me? Gee, leave Percy? I don't know. You're gonna have to offer me something better. He ain't near the man I am. I got the boy to think about. The courts will try and stick him with me, you know. Here's the Al Waxman suite. You said it had a heart-shaped bed. Anatomically speaking, it is heart-shaped. What about the jacuzzi? It's over there, but the motor's busted, so all you can do is sit and float. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have time for no hot tubbing. Because when you have love, you don't need no fancy bathtub. You both sicken me. Enjoy your stay. Oh, Charlie, it's so romantic. A lovely view of the falls, a hot tub, and free porno on the TV. Anastasia, uh, have you thought about my offer? I don't know. Sure, Poise ain't the greatest, but it's the little things that I love. Like when he forges my signature on a welfare check. He always dots the eyes with little hearts. Damn it, Anastasia. It's time you made a choice. Charlie, I've never seen you act like this. You took your hat off and everything. You don't even do that during sex. I can't help it, sweetie. You're the cream in my coffee, the pork in my beans. Come here, sweetie. Kevin had only been in Niagara Falls for three days, but he was already bored. Charlie and his mom hardly ever left the hotel room at all. Kevin didn't much like the idea of Charlie becoming his new dad, so he decided to sort out the problem the only way he knew how to deal with any emotional crisis, by sinking himself into a haze of alcohol and gambling, just like his dad did. Hey boy, you got any smoke? Percy was almost as drunk as Kevin had ever seen him. And whenever he started talking, he would burst into tears. So Kevin made sure he asked him a lot of questions. I know it don't seem like a dumb date, but I really like keeping time with your old lady. Trade you some complimentary drinks for a complimentary tour of my pants. Go take a bath, you fat, drunk bastard. Besides, you're cut off. Don't worry, boy. I figured they was going to cut me off sooner or later, so I've been filling this garbage bag with booze. Help me carry it out of here, and don't act suspicious or nothing if we get caught. I don't know you, I'm just helping you carry your bag. She's a good woman and she loves me. Kevin asked him how he could still have feelings for a woman even after she kept having sex with his friends. She's just more woman than one man can handle. I'll tell you this though, boy, she always could make me laugh. Like that time her Benoit balls fell out when she was talking to your principal during parent-teacher night. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I laughed so hard I lost control of myself and pissed my pants in front of everyone. Remember that, boy? The time Daddy peed himself in front of your teachers and friends? And with good time, boy. Good time. Look at him go. Get him, boy. Get them demons. I think you almost got him that time. Atta boy, slugger. Hey, I got an idea, son. Let's do with me paint this fucking town red. Hey, look, everybody. Galileo's a fag. Welcome to the Hydroelectric Dam, Niagara Falls' ninth most popular tourist attraction. What's the eighth? 
the lymphoma cluster left behind in the wake of the Love Canal chemical spill. What comes before that? I don't know. Does anyone other than the fat drunk have any questions? Well, I was just asking. You can kiss my ass, mister. Guy goes getting all jacked up over... <gasps> <clears throat> this dam creates electricity from the force of the mighty Niagara River. It can even turn the waterfall off downstream. Watch. I made it! I'm alive! I'm alive! Just a little reminder of man's superiority over nature. Now move along quietly and tell no one what you've seen. What the hell's going on? Be quiet yourself, you little freak. A uh, shit cop. I don't know what we've done, but let's get the hell out of here. You got any smoke, boy? Get in, boy. Get going, you stupid zebra. That's our buggy. Ah, uh, I only had two payments left. Well, we could take a cab, but then our lord would smite us. Get going, you stupid fucking mule. We have two suspects and are closing in. One matches description of APD for Percy Spencer, wanted on a nationwide warrant. Jesus, you're catching up. In here, boy. Damn it, they could be anywhere. Wait a minute. Did JFK have the two-headed goat? Or was that RFK? Get him! Quick boy, jump at the back of that truck. Damn it! We lost him. I am sad. It's okay, partner. Come on, let's go coerce a couple of hookers into having sex with us. That always cheers you up. live on the shores of the mighty Niagara River to watch an awesome sight. Today, someone plans to go over the falls and survive. Hi there, Lucy. Let's hope I have more luck than that guy. <laughs> I'll say. But seriously, Stan, what do you say to your critics who say your stunts are just the actions of a good-for-nothing loser who never finished school and is just doing it to get the attention he never got from his parents. Well, I say they're just a bunch of mother who can go f themselves and take a good long f on my Texas f The words of a hero, ladies and gentlemen. Stan, you've achieved many amazing feats, and we've got footage of just a few of them. 1984, you jumped a motorcycle over a row of school buses. 1985, you jumped a school bus over a row of motorcycles. 1994, you jumped out of your 24-year marriage, and amazingly, just one month later, you jumped into bed with a New Brunswick prostitute named Jocelyn. Stan, where did you get this taste for death? It's the rush, Lucy. I do it for the rush. And the endorsement deals. How do you plan to survive? I'll be using the same custom-designed, heavily insulated barrel that I used in the prostitute stunt. They're taking it off the truck right now. Let me show you what it looks like inside. Hey, I'm trying to hide him from the cops in here, pal. 
Get your own goddamn barrel. Come back here, you fucking amateurs! Ah, oh, Jesus, we're gonna die, boy! You got any smoke? Way to chicken out, pussy! Up yours, you son of a bitch! You got any smokes, boy? Mine's all wet. There they are, let's get them! Come on, boy, let's get out of here. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Uh, not too shabby. Uh, how about you? Me and the boy are on vacation. Getting some time away from my fat slob of an old lady. Come again, asshole! <laughs> you best watch your mouth, you fat drunk! Jeez, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. And you, Plunt? Oh, that's just perfect. Now how the hell am I gonna get home? Charlie left his pants. Hey, we could use his credit card to rent a car. Oh, okay. So I guess this means we're back together. Oh, uh, I guess so. I'll take you back, but you gotta promise to stay the hell away from Charlie. I ain't gotta promise you nothing. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. But why don't you kiss my ass? 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 Kiss my ass. You kiss my ass! Kiss my fucking ass! <laughs> <laughs> 